swift flange if you don't find flange swift flange tool here just simply go to command and here write swift here write see you can simply press and hold left mouse and drag and place somewhere wherever you want but i don't want because i already have here this is similar feature like swift boss base so for this we need two geometry one is profile and one is path so let's create both so front plane is sketch now i am going to draw one profile go back to the point and see the line is converted into arc connect here right click or press escape key to out this line i am going to make center line a smart dimension 1 inch the vertical length 1.5 inch these radius 0.5 inch and let me define one angle 45 degree now see it is fully defined this sketch simply exit and go to again top plane sketch now here i am going to define a path so select line right click exit now select both the lines equal smart dimension 9 inch length 8 inch activate fillet now here i am going to select 3 inch select both the yes select this point yes okay and cancel now hold shift key select these two points merge now see it is fully defined sketch exit and see isometric view and this is your profile and path so simply activate swift flange now here it will ask you first profile so i am going to select this second is path and you will see the preview now here what you can change cylindrical and conical this shape is not like that so this is not going to be apply on this now sheet metal gauge either put gauge or either parameter so i am going to prefer change parameters let's say 1 mm 0.125 inch actually this is in inches radius also i am going to keep same you can change the direction now in bend allowance i am going to apply bend instead of k factor i am going to apply bend allowance and 0.15 inch this is according to calculation this one i'll keep as it is say okay now if i am going to flatten this part you will see a straight flatten but this is not practical so undo and again edit feature and here one option called flatten along path material inside say okay now use flatten now this time you will see see this is flatten along bending line see these are the bending line and this is flatten along bending line and this is seems more practical than those i hope you like it Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.